Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be doing my very first, woo, first one, uh, grocery haul. And I'm gonna show you what the Madero family picks up for groceries, uh, for a week's worth of groceries. Hey guys, we just got back from our grocery run. Um, and so I'm going to do my very first grocery haul here on YouTube and share with you guys what the Madero family picks up for groceries, for a week's worth of groceries for our family. Now I've had people ask me before, do you eat only um, vegetables, are you vegan, are you vegetarian, what do your groceries look like, what do you eat in a week, um, do you only buy organic, do you only buy locally grown, all that kind of stuff. And so I'll just kind of let you guys see what we eat in a week. Um, and aren't you ever curious what other people pick up as their groceries? You see all that stuff in the grocery store and you wonder, well, what are other people buying? So I'll give you an idea of what we buy and what kind of groceries we get and um, what we plan on doing with them this week. Okay, we get our groceries at a couple different places. We went to two places this week. The first one was our Bypass Farmer's Market. It's not a farmer's market, like one that's open every Saturday. It's open every day. And it has a little bit of an Asian market section. And then um, a lot of the fruits and vegetables are locally grown, and then some aren't that you can't get here um, in Florida. So we go there first and we buy everything we can. The prices are really good and the food is really, really fresh. And then the second place we go to is Publix. We like Publix for a few reasons. The first reason is, is that they give the kids a cookie. The second reason is that they have shopping carts that look like airplanes or rockets or something. So the cookie keeps our kids busy. I know it's sugar, but still it works. And then um, the race car, because again, he gets to drive the little car and he's three and a half, so I don't know how much longer this is going to work, but um, we love it. And then the other is, is that um, their motto is shopping is a pleasure. Well, it really is. It's clean, it's pretty, and they have a lot of sales. So I love deals. Buy one, get one free. So we do that. So I'll show you what we've got. We've got um, all kinds of good stuff. All right, here is the bounty, if I can show you. Our typical grocery haul isn't normally this big, but we were out of a lot of stuff. So I'll kind of start here by the vegetables. Um, I've got some cucumbers. We're gonna make sandwiches, so a lot of the veggies are gonna be for sandwiches. And then I've got some zucchinis under here. We're gonna have um, fajitas one night. Um, we've got corn, we're gonna grill out. I've got um, some carrots. I'm gonna use those and some fresh basil and a whole bunch of tomatoes in here. I'm gonna make a fresh tomato soup and use that all week for my uh, lunches. We've got some kale. That was only like 99 cents at the farmer's market. I'm gonna put that in our juices because I don't really like eating it, do you? It's a little bit tough. The celery is for the tomato soup and then some limes for those fajitas. I got some asparagus. I really like the thin ones. When they're too thick of stalks, I don't enjoy them as much. So we got those, and that was a whim. I'm just planning on us uh, barbecuing them or sauteing them up. If you have a, a way that you really like asparagus, let me do know down in the comment section. We haven't prepared it much. The avocados for those fajitas, uh, some green onions. Um, what are we gonna do with those? I can't remember. The cilantro for the fajitas, and of course you need peppers for fajitas and for our sandwiches. And then I've got some sprouts here. I just picked up some alfalfa sprouts. I love those in my sandwich. And then a couple weeks ago, I posted a video about lavender lemonade. Well, I loved it, but my family didn't really care too much for the lavender in the lemonade. So I'm gonna try to make it again, but without the lavender. And then, um, Maybe I'll see what other essential oil I could put in there. I could do lemon or maybe lime or we'll see. Get creative. I don't want to uh, make it too frou-frou and then they don't like it. Uh, mangoes, I got a couple of those. And grapes for my kids' lunches. They love those as snacks. And my son's favorite right now are pears. And these are super juicy. I got some apples. I'm planning on making like an apple type dessert this week. Like an apple cobbler or something with a crisp with fresh oats and cinnamon and that good stuff. Toma or tomatoes, uh, some strawberries, fresh strawberries for lunches. And then the pineapple was like $2.99 or something like that. So what I did is I bought it to um, cut up and freeze. And then I put those in my smoothies every day with all of my wonderful bananas. We gotta wait for these to get ripen up because they're way too green right now. And then back here, we're gonna barbecue and um, we already have some potatoes. So I thought some green beans would be good. And my husband makes the best green beans. So we're gonna have green beans with uh, onions and garlic, and he does some olive oil on the stove. It is so, so good. Um, I've got a huge stack of um, 
Greek yogurt, Stony Field. So this is organic yogurt. Um, so no no hormones, um, happy cows, good stuff. I my kids love it. We love it, and um, it's just good for you. And they were on sale for ten for ten dollars. So I love a sale like that. So we'll work our way around over here, and then this is some of the more processed ingredients. So I eat a lot of fresh fruits. Most of our diet includes fresh fruits and vegetables, but then this is some of the other stuff. And so I didn't want you guys to think, okay, I'm like a thousand percent, you know, whole food ingredients is what my family eats. But we do eat that, but then we also eat, you know, some of the regular stuff that's, um, not regular stuff, but do you know what I mean? You know, a little bit quicker on those days. So we've got um, some juice boxes. These were $2.50 for the container of eight of them. And those are really good for lunches. These aren't the worst ones you can get out there that are like Kool-Aid or something like that, but they're not the best either. It says no sugar added, um, but these were good. We got the, the fruits and vegetables in them. We're gonna be making those fajitas, so I needed some Worcestershire sauce. I always feel like I'm saying that wrong. And then my husband's gonna be cooking up some chicken on the barbecue, and so he wanted some the Frank's Red Hot. That's the only kind he likes. And then for the sandwiches, I'm gonna put all kinds of fresh veggies in mine, but my kids love this lunch meat from uh, the Publix Deli, and then my husband got some fresh sliced bread, and of course some cheese. We didn't buy organic cheese. I like to, but it's really expensive, and these were on sale, so sometimes we just compromise there. And mac and cheese, buy one, get one free. You can't beat it, except it's not, you know, super healthy. But again, the kids love it. I need to find a good recipe for uh, organic mac and cheese or, you know, just homemade. So we're not always eating box stuff. So we just buy a couple of those. We get the Earth Balance Natural Buttery Spread. Okay, so I also got some um, coconut milk. I always put those in my smoothies. I love it, but I get the unsweetened. And my daughter's been wanting the sweetened kind with vanilla. She likes that. And so we get the organic coconut milk. So she likes that to drink as a treat. And then we're going to have burgers one night. And so my husband got the um, Publix Greenwise. It's their organic meat. And so he's going to make some homemade burgers with that. So I got some whole wheat buns for the burgers. And I already have some veggie burgers that are in the freezer. So we're going to use those. And then the chicken was buy one, get one free. And this is the one with no antibiotics. Um, and it's a vegetarian diet. So again, it's not organic, but we do what we can. We try to buy the best quality meat that we can. And then I got some sour cream for those fajitas we're going to have and some whole wheat tortillas and then some fun stuff for um, my son. He likes Cheetos, so we get these white cheddar um, ones. And again, Cheetos probably not the best for you, but we buy the best ones we can. These say gluten-free, made with um, sunflower oil, no artificial colors and flavors or preservatives, made with sea salt, and they're baked. So if you're going to eat Cheetos, these are probably the better version of them. And then um, my husband wanted some chips, so we got these Simply Lays. These again, made with sunflower oil, no colors, flavors, preservatives, and then made with sea salt. These aren't baked, but there you go. And then I picked up one of these quick little pre-done pizzas uh, as like a snack one afternoon when the kids come home from school, something quick. So there you have it. There's our grocery haul for this week. That's what's going on at the Madeira House.